The traffic light turns green and the driver of a high performance car slams the accelerator to the floor. The accelerometer registers 22 meters per second squared. Convert this reading to kilometers per minute squared. So here we have got a driver who is moving at 22 meters per second squared. We want to convert this to kilometers per minute squared. So the first thing is let's convert the meter to kilometer. We've got a meter on top, we we'll put a meter down and then a kilometer on top. We know that in one kilometer we've got 1000 meters. So the meter and the meter cancels. Now what remains is for us to convert the second squared to minute squared. So we're going to multiply. Since we've got a second squared down, we're going to put a second on top. And then a minute down. We know that in one minute we have got 60 seconds. But notice that this is not a second, it's a second squared. So I'm going to get the whole of this and then square it. And then the whole of this which is down and then square it. So that the 60 squared becomes 3600. The second squared also can cancel with the second squared which is here. So the second squared can cancel with the second squared. And then one squared will become one squared, which is just one. And then we're going to have a minute squared. So the answer is therefore going to be 22 multiplied by, this is going to be 60 squared, which is 3600. And then in the denominator, we're going to have 10 to the power 3. This would still be a 1. So on top, we have got a kilometer. And then down, we are going to have a minute squared. So we have converted, this is 1000. Therefore, just from the 1100 is going to cancel with those two zeros. And then we are going to remain with a 10. That 10 that remains will make the decimal point to come at this point. I'm, I don't have a calculator, that's why I'm performing those calculations in mind. So say... You can just do it direct if you want. 22 multiplied by 3600. And then the answer that you get divided by 1000. So that is going to give us 79.2 kilometers per minute squared. And then for this one, what is the density in gram per milliliter of a substance that masses 0 0.987 kg and has a volume of 4.52 times 10 power 2 milliliters? So we are saying we want the answer to be in gram per milliliter. What is the density in gram per milliliter? So we're going to first get this, the number that has got something that relates to grams. That is the kg. So I'll get the 0 0.987 kg. First thing, let me convert it to grams because I want to give the answer in gram per milliliter. I'll put a kg down and then a gram on top. You know, in one kg you have got a thousand grams. This kg and this kg they are going to cancel out. And then we are also going to multiply again. Now, the answer is in grams, but we want the answer in grams per milliliter. And how do we do that? We need the millimeter to be down. We don't need anything else to be on top because we already have a gram. So just this number that has got a millimeter, I'm going to put it in the denominator 4.52 times 10 to the power 2 milliliters. So on top I'll just put a 1 just to make sure that it just holds the number. Therefore this is going to become 0 0.987 which is on top. I'll divide it by 4.52 and then multiplied by we can see this is 10 to the power 3 this is 10 to the power 2 numbers of the same base at, uh, which are dividing just subtract the powers so that is going to be 3 minus 2 that will be 10 to the power 1 the answer is in grams per milliliters. So divide that 0 0.987 divided by 4.52.
that is going to give us 0 0.21 but this times 10 to the power 1 that is going to be 2.1836283 grams per milliliter so if you notice this number has got three significant figures this one three significant figures so the answer is supposed to have three significant figures also that to be 2.18 gram per milliliter so this is going to be the answer for this question you can as well say since asking for the density density given by mass over volume just get the mass which is 0 0.987 kg then divide by the volume which is 4.52 times 10 to the power 2 milliliters but we want the answer in gram per milliliter so that means I need to convert this kg to grams just multiply you know that in 1 kg we have got a thousand grams so that this cancels with this so that will basically be the same thing as we've done. So that is going to be the answer.